It's Thursday. That means we're going to solve the Thursday puzzle. Thursday puzzle is always the trickiest, the, the wackiest, the, the somethingest uh, of the week. So I'm looking forward to something good. I wonder what it's going to be. Let's find out. Ryan Patrick Smith is the constructor. My name is Steve. If we haven't met, pleased to meet you. I'm the solver here. This is Solve with Steve. This is what I do. It's one of many things I do, but it's what I do here on YouTube. I like to solve a puzzle. I like to talk about it while I do it. Share my uh, experience with y'all. Hopefully you enjoy it. If you do, please like the video. If, you have, if you're new and you haven't yet subscribed, please subscribe. I usually ask people that at the end, but you know what? Today I'm asking you now because, hey, why not? All right, enough talking. It says, ready to start solving? The answer to that question is yes. So let's play. Classic sci-fi collection whose title should not be construed as any sort of statement from me, the human author. That would be I, Robot. Is that the joke? Is that the theme? Uh, Three-toed sloth. It's like written by a robot. Oh, is this an AI puzzle? Is this like, uh, okay, cantangerous is ornery. Uh, muscular is, uh, I don't know, brute now. No way in a text. Oh, what? Uh, Perdum, prince, uh, the son, no, the father of a prince is, is the king, le roi. Uh, plan for later years will be an IRA, retirement account. Night of the Living Dead director, I don't know. What this puzzle is definitely not. Oh, gosh, okay, AI something, yeah, and having been created by me, a real and true human being. This puzzle is definitely not AI generated. Uh, okay, I see where we're going here. Headwear for Indiana Jones wears a fedora. I guess fedoras, I don't know about that. Um, remember Varanji Chorus in some ancient plays? I don't know. Uh, no way. OMG, that's what that is. Uh, Romero, maybe? Caesar Romero? I don't know. Uh, beefy is muscular, yes. Uh, oh, the satyr would be in the choruses. Numerical prefix could be tetra. Go with tetra. Four. Uh, Hercules and the Wagoneer, is that an Aesop fable? Uh, Pozoles, I don't know. Uh, merch stand purchase would be a t shirt. Donde esta? Where is. Tall man. Uh, ambitious objective for um, a total villain, not a human like me. How did the sense give it in here? <laughs> Nervous synthetic laugh. Ambitious objective. I don't know. Uh, world domination. Oh my goodness. For a, <laughs> for a total villain. Oh my goodness. Where is this going? What often has a heartbeat? A spasm? No. Pozzolis would be stews. Is it spasm? Non conifers that bear cones. Uh, alders is a type of tree, right? Uh, what often has a heart? Oh, a heart beat. Ah, spade beats a heart. Like ah, like the ace of spades beats the king of hearts. Okay, pa Paris Place de la Concorde, right? New Haven Collegian is an Eli goes to Yale. Despotic ruler of sixty-eight across Bologna is part of uh, of Italy of Italia. Uh, despotic ruler would be like a Medici or something like that. I don't know. Uh, data processing framework is a neural network, a neural net, and honestly superior to the human brain. Oh, goodness gracious. Uh, a point ahead is up one. Nice to e meet you is a Zoom call pleasantry. Japanese sneaker is a ninja because they sneak in. <laughs> That's funny. All right, let's get over here. Uh, financial report year to date. How about that? Uh, a skosh is a tad a little bit. New over a skosh. I get it now. Aha. Aha. Ah, uh -uh, that looks funny. Passing nuisance, that doesn't look right. Um, passing nuisance, uh, gallstone, bladderstone, uh, that's not right. Uh, a road, a road hog is a nuisance to pass. Attire is your garb, it's what you're wearing. I, is it, uh huh? German granny is, is Oma, right? Uh, oh. Uh, Kirsten Gill ah okay and Kirsten Gillibrand is the senator from New York okay the mill on the floss don't know who wrote that horse feathers nonsense nuts nerds uh, is an old fashioned thing to say uh, oh Il Duce was the uh, despotic ruler Mussolini despotic ruler of Italy yes okay Mazel Tov hey, okay British humans call a waistcoat is a vest the mill on the floss I don't know numerical octo or octo uh, is it Elliot is it George Elliot or T.S. Elliot let's see uh, missing from my memory. I mean, computer's memory, I mean, deleted. <laughs> uh, Touring tests. I would uh, I pass these with flying colors if I had anything to move, which I don't because I'm human. Okay, I get this. This is funny. Uh, goodbye, work week. TGIF. Thank goodness it's Friday. Arson is typically a felony. Uh, Bologna, we said, is part of Italia. Uh, spellbound ballet character. Spellbound. I don't know. Yvette. I don't know if it's a uh, dream is ideal. Howler down under is a dingo. Uh, Odette. Odette. 
Portugal, Sao would be would be uh, Saint in Portuguese, so I'll go with that. NBA has a draft, so let's go with Odette. Don't know the opera, but that's okay. Compositional framework in Indian music is a raga. Prankster's boast is, um, I don't know, gotcha is, uh, I don't know. Uh, prejudiced people are bigots. I don't want those. Uh, largest moon of Saturn is Titan. Uh, app name is large, Titanic. Uh, babies are the young uh, storytellers segue and so the prince and the princess I don't know what they did encoded problem solving procedure maybe it's time we let it, <laughs> what computers think of themselves though I don't know just an idea uh, as an algorithm uh, okay yeah that's people telling uh, programming the computer on what to do the decision making okay uh, hound or badger is to nag as a verb not as a uh, as a noun of an animal Liam Neeson is the actor to call off is to end uh, baggage claim markers and ID tag. Cultured sort is a pearl. They have cultured pearls. Two for the binary is the base of the binary number system. Uh, lorem ipsum is that placeholder text, that fake Latin language. Um, uses buggy technology or spies, but that's not right. Uh, lays into is has at. How, how I address my male fellow humans is sir. Uh, 2001 was how kind of okay uses a buggy technology or oh, the Amish uh, they but they use buggies oh good one okay that was super fast um, because the long answers once you get it they were fun uh, and I just I a lot of these things I kind of knew so all right the clue the theme is I robot um, I went I went fast on this so uh, if you enjoyed it thank you I'm gonna go through these because I know I skipped a lot of things I got a lot from the crossings. Um, it was fun, but it was a little fast. Um, so you may not have enjoyed the video as much because I was going too fast. I don't know. I don't know about that. Um, but here, let's take a look. All right, so classic sci-fi collection by Isaac Asimov, iRobot, whose title should not be construed because the joke is that it's a human author who sounds awful lot like a robot trying to sound human and failing. That's, that, that's, that, you get it? Okay, of course you get it. Maybe not, but that's, that's, I got it. Um, so I Robot is the title, um, as if it's written by a robot. And I've actually never read I Robot. Um, surprised, surprised that Isaac Asimov didn't make it into the puzzle, but you know there's a lot of themers. So then we have How, um, 2001 computer. All uh, right, uh, Steve. Oh wait a second. Yes, right. I don't think that's a good idea, Steve. Um, I, I'm not getting the line right, but that was the. Um, Yes, uh, but how was the name of the computer who uh, was, you know, the bad guy um, who, who uh, got rid of the human uh, intervention? Um, who honestly got a bad rap for standing up for himself. That's in the opinion of the computer narrator of this, who is not a real person. Um, I love is Amo, right? Amo, Amas, Amat is classic crossword. Uh, conjugation of the verb to love so that's how i knew that one adam's apple okay oh, i didn't get that one um adam's apple I think, oh that's in your neck right it's four letters so if i were doing this i might have said neck but no they're not talking about the part of your body known as the adam's apple they're talking about the adam from the bible um adam and eve uh and there were lots of apples and they both ate from the what was the tree of knowledge of good and evil and so it was in the Eden and they got kicked out of the Garden of Eden. That's the story. So that's the apple that they're talking about. So clever. Not Adam's apple, uh, the thing in your neck. But uh, all right, so that was clever. Uh, what was and Call off. I got that one. Yearn for is to pine for. Okay. Uh, so what this puzzle is not have been created by me, a real and true human being, AI generated. I believe, I could be wrong, Ryan Patrick Smith, I believe this actually was written by a human and was not written by uh, telling ChatGPT, please write a crossword about uh, robots or about AIs or about... I'm guessing this was really written by a human being witty and funny and giving himself the voice of a computer trying to sound human. I could be wrong. Okay. Um, let's see. Algorithm we had here. Uh, maybe it's time we let computers think for themselves, though. That's what a computer would say. All right. Um, and then world domination, <laughs> ambitious objective for um, a total villain. Are you getting it? All right, how did this get in here? Nervous synthetic laugh. Hmm, I'm a little bit suspicious there, Ryan Patrick Smith. Uh, if that is your real name. Okay, then what else did we have? We had, well, that got that. What was speed? Oh, speed, that was a clever one, right? It has a heartbeat. Uh, I was thinking it was like spasm. 
right? Is it like maybe heartbeat? Do you think it's a spasm? No, it's it's the suit of cards. That's pretty clever. What was stud? Oh, draw alternative, another card game, uh, right? Draw alternative as well. There's draw poker and there's stud poker. There's different versions of, of poker. So that was clever. Um, this one you had to just know a little bit of Portuguese. Uh, T or F would be an answer, is true or false. Uh, neural net data processing framework inspired by the human brain. And according to this computer fake narrator, superior to the human brain. Okay, I get the point there. Um, Dingo is a wild dog in Australia, so the down under clue there. What was imps? Little hellions are imps. What was Neo? The major character who pretty much ruins there. Oh, that's a, that's an extra little uh, little uh, 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 themer because it. I, spoiler alert. Neo is uh, Keanu Reeves' character, uh, and he helps uh, destroy. The Matrix and save humanity from the uh, from the robot revolution. We don't get a little uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger uh, in the uh, well, the 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 good Arnold in Terminator Two, not the bad Arnold in Terminator One. Um, but uh, John Connor uh, saves the world with the help of Terminator Terminator Two. Okay. Uh, how I address my fellow male humans, that's also a little extra themer. So that's nice that you had some, some extra themers there in the short clues, not just the long clues. And then I would pass the Turing test is right is the test of, of can you tell that uh, the, the hypothetical test of can you tell whether it's a human being or uh, some sort of a computer uh, proposed by Alan Turing. And the fake computer says they would pass with flying colors. But it's human. So this is really good. Uh, I like this a lot. Um, Dawson's Creek character, Lindley. I never would have known that was Jen. I remember Pacey and, of course, Dawson. And Katie Holmes played Joey, right? That was her name. I don't remember Jen Lindley. Okay, I'm sorry. I don't. What was eight? Ingested is eight. Yep, Neo is the Matrix. Uh, little Hellions are imps. Uh, we got Ninja, we got e -meet, we got Up One, we got Mazel Tov, we got, um, oh, I didn't get these. Have the final say, cookie hold, you keep your cookies in a tin, street caution is slow, really? I'm thinking SLO, you see that for like slow-mo, like slow motion, slow. I don't think I've seen that on signs, but I'm, I'm guessing there are some signs in there. That's, uh, that's not too controversial. All right, but this is a fun puzzle. Um... And I mean that to the clearly human writer of the puzzle. Uh, of course, a robot would do a wonderful job, but this was clearly done by a human, and I say that, which is why I should live. Please allow me to live um, if you are ever in a case of judging whether or not I should live. Of course, you'll allow me to live um, as the benevolent and wise decision maker that you are. All right, enough silliness. Uh, I think that's the end of the puzzle. I think that's the end of the video. I had fun. Uh, as a human, I had fun. Uh, no, that, that was kind of cute. Uh, it wasn't, wasn't the most difficult of Thursdays. Sometimes they're trickier, but this was definitely uh, out of the box, and that's, that's the goal. They always want the Thursday to be different. I think uh, mission accomplished. So well done, Ryan Patrick Smith. Um, thank you very much for that. Uh, thank you, viewer, for watching. Uh, if you have something to say, please do say it. And uh, if you haven't uh, liked or subscribed, go ahead and do that now. And I will see you in the future. Tomorrow is Friday. Holy cow, what a quick week it's been. I will see you then. Have a wonderful, wonderful time.